Hello viewers, welcome to another SMC tutorial video. Today's video is all about the introduction to a Compass Wallet. So Compass Wallet is a crypto wallet for the Say blockchain, which helps you to seamlessly explore Say networks and the apps in the Say ecosystem. So what that means is just like our previous video where we walked you through how to buy Say related tokens using the Compass Wallet. So anytime you want to interact with Say tokens or probably getting on Say NFTs, the Compass Wallet is your best bet to get in on all of those transactions. So let's dive in. First off, you need to download the Compass Wallet from your Play Store or App Store depending on your device. Ensure you search for Compass Wallet for Say and then you open up the wallet. Once you open up the wallet and once the wallet has been downloaded and you open up the wallet, you then you'll be requested to impute a PIN. All right, so I'll be using this pin for tutorial purposes only. And then it says, welcome to Compass. Choose how you like to set up your wallet. Would you rather create a new wallet or import an existing wallet? So for this video, we'll be creating a new wallet because this video is an introduction to Compax Wallet. All right, so now we have our seed phrase, our 12 seed phrase, right? So ensure you write down the seed phrase in a safe place, okay? So do not, do not just skip this page. Write it down, save it somewhere because if you ever are to uninstall your Compass Wallet and you need to recover it back, the seed phrase is your only option. So you tap on yes, I have saved it somewhere and then you impute the words, the fourth word that is required. Okay, you impute the seventh word required. Then you impute the eleventh word required. Okay, and then um, you confirm. All right, so let's confirm this. All right, so it says do not share the secret phrase with anyone because if you ever share a secret phrase with anyone, just understand that the person also has access to your wallet. All right, now, so this is the home page and this is the interface you'll be presented with once your seed phrase has been confirmed. So let us go through this home page. So first off, let's go through the menu icon that is at the top left, the three horizontal lines. All right, so you can then tweak the wallet to suit your taste. You can change your currency if you want. Probably you don't want it to be in USD. You want it to be in Euro, British Pound, Australian Dollar, Chinese Yuan. You can change it to suit your taste okay to your preference when the net network is on the main net you leave it as it is the theme can be light or dark if you do not like the dark theme you can always change it to the light theme then you can choose to hide your assets you just toggle it on if you do not want to hide your assets you leave it off okay then it says show your private key you can just tap on this to reveal your private key you can always tap on this as well the show secret phrase to reveal your secret phrase if you didn't copy it initially while setting up your wallet all right so privacy privacy policies set the conditions support twitter you can take your time to go through this later on all right so let's go through the other features of the home page so where we have wallet one if you tap on it all right so it helps you to also create a new wallet probably you want to create a burner wallet this is where you can create another wallet to act as a burner wallet for you or you can import an existing wallet and then you can always navigate through all your wallets on here okay then let's also see um if you want to copy your your address where this where we have SEI one and this is where your address is so if somebody wants to send say tokens to you or say related tokens tokens that are built on the say blockchain this is the address you would copy and send to the sender so that you can receive those tokens or if you want to send tokens from a centralized exchange like Binance or Gate.io this is where you copy the address you paste in the field for address that will be receiving the tokens and then you send your assets. All right, so um, we also have those icons of deposit, send, scan, IBC. All right, so what else do we have? So beneath, we have the NFT icon. All right, so this is where you'd have your NFT collections, right? So once you make a transaction, probably you buy an NFT from the marketplace, this is where your NFT will be like this is where all the NFT collections will appear okay so thus 
browser this is the in-app browser this is where you interact with the d apps dex defi nft marketplace this is where you interact with all of it so you can buy your nfts from nft marketplace all you need to do is to put in the url link and then you buy your nft with the say tokens and then you swap and your nft will be in the nft section that we just showed you previously and also if you want to buy say tokens you just swap your say tokens for say and then when you get to your home page your tokens should be revealed here where we have c so if you buy other tokens and you do not see those tokens all you need to do is to tap on manage tokens and impute the contract address of that token and then it should appear and then you need to just toggle it on toggle it on and then it will appear in the home page okay so let's see um i don't have any tokens on here because it's a new wallet so i don't think it would appear all right so um for stake okay so if you want to stake your say tokens probably to be eligible for upcoming airdrops this is where you do that so you just impute the amount of say you want to stake and then um you tap on the stake option all right so this page is still loading up so what i believe that all you need to do is once you've deposited some say tokens into your wallet and this page comes up it will request you to impute the amount you'd like to deposit probably you have about a thousand say and you only want to stake about 800 say okay so it's up now you only want to take a stake about 800 say all you need to do is to impute the quantity and then you stake you stake your say okay so here for activity this is where your transaction history will be this is where all you view your detailed transaction history as it is so when you do different swaps whatever you when you interact with the d app all the transaction history will be displayed here all right so let's get back to the home page see if there's any other thing we want to do all right so if you want to rename your wallet once you tap on this icon at the top where we have wallet one once you tap on it there's three dots here you just tap on it and then you can always rename your wallet to what you prefer so i would love to rename this wallet to smc tutors and also if you want to change it probably you want a different color you could just tap on a different color right and then say save changes so it will just change the color that it was there before to the color that you prefer all right guys so this is literally this is pretty much what we have in the compass wallet like i said just an introduction to compass wallet let's see what happens if we tap on this say icon over here okay it doesn't do anything all right so this is literally an introduction to the say compass wallet and in your time your spare time you can obviously always go through other functionalities of the say compass wallet and also um, explore other features of the compass wallet i hope this video has been helpful ensure to like this video subscribe to this channel turn on the post notification bell for more educated videos on the smc tutor channel and if you have any questions don't hesitate to make a comment in the comment section below and someone will address your question thank you for watching and see you in our next video